Guys, I'm going to record a video that uh, is basically going over some of the NA beers that I've tried. And um, there's <clears throat> some of them are better than others. And uh, I think I recorded a couple of quick segments for all of these. If I recall, I've been putting this video together for about a month, actually. Just taking random videos whenever I'm actually drinking some of the beer. But um, I hope you enjoy it. I, I tried to put together a little, bit, at least a little bit of information for each segment. So here goes. So the first one of the bunch is going to be the old Milwaukee non-alcoholic malt beverage. Um, I don't really, I don't have never liked old Milwaukee normal beer. And honestly, I don't like a lot of beer anyways. But we'll see how it tastes. I normally prefer um, like a Michelob Ultra light lagers kind of beer. It's not that bad. It kind of tastes like a like a Coors Light kind of thing. A little bit bland. It's got that hint. I don't know why these beers taste like this, but it's got the hint of grapefruit juice taste to it. Just, I don't know what that is. Maybe that's hops, but it's, it's got a little bit of that taste. So it's not terrible. Kind of close to beer. All right. Time for number two, Hairless Dog. This is in a black ale. Let's see how this one tastes. <laughs> this one has a lot of that grapefruit juice taste and quality. I have no idea what makes it taste so that much, but uh, it's on the stronger side for sure. It's a very strong taste. It's a uh, it's not good, but I don't want to waste it. So this one is the second of the hairless dog. It's called the N.A. Citra Lager. And what it says, this doesn't appeal to me, but it says it's, it's 0, 0.0. It doesn't even have less than 0.5, so it's absolutely zero alcohol. It might not have the hair, but it has the bite. We made N.A. the right way. 0.0% alcohol, but 100% of the flavor craft beer lovers love. I don't, I don't think I'm a craft beer lover, so that's not probably going to be appealing to me. But we'll see. Yeah, it smells like uh, grapefruit juice. It's got that. The other one was terrible, extremely strong. We'll see how this one does. It's not as um, sour as the other one. But it's sour. I, I, it literally tastes like grapefruit juice with carbonated beerish quality. And I'm burping already. Not my favorite. Not my least favorite. So this one here is Sharps Miller. Or Miller, obviously, Sharps. And it's a 0.5%. So extreme. It says less than, actually. Um, Twist top. Gonna have some pizza and, and beer. So this one doesn't it smells like regular beer. This one has a very regular normal beer taste. Like I, I would compare it to like Bud Light or Coors Light or any of those lighter kind of weak but normal beer taste. This this has it. It doesn't have a lot of that fake, I don't know what they used to, aspartame or something, but it doesn't have a lot of that bittery, it's got a little bit of it, but not a ton. I, I could drink these, like I could drink a case of them. Yeah, it's a little bit of a harsh aftertaste. It's that artificial sweetener kind of, kind of aspirin, aspirin thing, but better than uh, definitely the grapefruit one. Coors Edge, the last one that I was going to try in this video. This one says uh, the same thing, less than 0.5% alcohol by volume. It's a twist top as well. And I've had this one before. This one tends to be my favorite. That's why I did this one last. To me, it tastes identical to a regular Coors Light, except for it doesn't have alcohol in it. Like it's probably the smoothest 
of all of these fake beers that I have drank. And I enjoy it. It's actually good. I don't normally like beer. I've said that before in the other segments. But um, this one's not too bad. I could sit here and drink this six or eight or whatever with some buddies and feel festive and feel like I'm drinking beer too and kind of enjoy it. So this one's really good. So that was the video, guys. As you can tell, I, the Coors Edge is the one that's my favorite. It's really smooth. It doesn't leave some of that chemically aftertaste that some of them leave. And um, I really, I think that one tastes good. I could, I could drink it for fun, actually, even if I wasn't having a, a boys' night out or whatever. So anyways, hope you, that was helpful for you. And if you're trying to go through uh, in a journey of your own, good luck. You can do it. It's not the easiest thing, but it can be done. Have a good one.